you're going. Hello, this is uh, Lisa Griffith, and in this video we're going to talk about uh, color and creating your color charts. Um, this is the, we talked about this in your materials list. This is my uh, Canson can watercolor book, and you want watercolor for the heaviness of the paper. Um, the first colors that I want to talk about is, and I hope you can see this on the monitor, is the deep cadmium red, or it's a cadmium red medium, compared to an alizarin crimson. The reason why we don't use color wheels in this um, design class is because they don't, they only work for a single shade of red. And if you're starting to look at color, as you saw in the videos I put up, um, there, and if you start looking at buying paint, there's not one shade of red. There is multiple shades of red. You can get a deep, um, deep cadmium red, a medium cadmium red, a light cadmium red, a lizard and crimson. This is uh, this one I can't even say. It's quasicadon cadmium, which is a very dark crimson. Um, and so in reds, you're going to see a whole variety of reds. What you want to buy is a warm red or a true blood red like a coca-cola red that will make all your oranges and you want a red that's already sliding towards the purples so you want it to have kind of a, a cool color so it's for red believe it or not it is cool so it's like a purple red and this will make all your purples uh blues there's so many blues i have phthalo blue here and i have ultramarine so this is my what you would consider more as a true blue. This is more of a purple blue. Um, there's also cerulean and a variety of, and cryon and a variety of other blues. Choose two tones that you like. Um, yellow is a tough one. I've always thought that a, just a good primary yellow would work, but I found that this with my reds was not working as well. And this is a, a, cat, a golden paint. I went and bought a, Arti a Crafts Paint Delta that was a light yellow. And this has, I think, a small amount of white. And I thought it mixed oranges better. I'll show you. And then browns. I've been reading that you don't need to buy browns, but I have not been able to mix good browns. When I try to mix um, uh, op opposites, so you would for green you would have red or red you would have green and it's supposed to create brown I seem to get gray so we need a uh, two we need some type of browns um, burnt umber is a nice dark brown and raw sienna is a lighter kind of um, sandier brown and these can be easily modified and then there's a black there's different kinds of black but I have a Mars black Oh, you can also get a lamp black. Lamp blacks can be, some can be redder and the others can be bluer, but you want a good medium black. And then titanium white is your common white, which is what you're going to want to buy. Um, and you'll see other names, but just look for a bright white, like a titanium white. What I did is I started with, um, you may be seeing this upside down. Um, I started with my cadmium red deep and then I started with my primary yellow and I got these oranges as I started mixing down um, and then I did another page of a list of the alizarin crimson and these oranges I wasn't really happy with these some of these oranges when you started to whiten it and create Pastels was interesting, but I really felt I could have got a nice cleaner orange than this or than this um, And a more tangerine orange. So that's when I went and bought just a craft paint um, Of the bright yellow Delta it's a Delta craft paint and added it to the medium red and I felt that these were a little cleaner oranges so I was happy with that so every paint will behave differently and you'll just have to you'll get to know your paint as you start to work with it that's why it's best to see it take making a color chart quite seriously because you can see all these greens that I'm getting with my various yellows this is called sun bright yellow and cryon blue and I'm getting these greens and then uh, 
a bright, the same sun bright yellow with ultramarine gave me these kind of gray blues. And then the fat phthalo blue, I got these kind of beautiful blues right here. So you will um, find that every color will act differently. Every way a company makes a paint will behave differently. Some of these paints you'll see are thinner and some are denser. And that's um, because these are the golden paints and they are a thinner paint. I have some that I can go back to this page to show you that because I put the name of the company. This is an ultramarine by Golden. It's nice and dark. This one's nice and dark. a denser paint. Um, this one is from Utrecht and it was a nice you know, you'll see that's a thicker paint. This is a much thinner paint. But each each paint paint can be made thicker by adding in a, a what's called a thickening medium. Instead of getting a matte medium, you would get a medium, a heavy bodied medium that will allow you to thicken any any paint. A little, and it will change its consistency, but it shouldn't change its color by much. Um, let's see, did I get all the colors I need you to do? So when you're making this color chart, you need to go through and as you're creating these colors, these are your primary colors you want to start with. At least two reds, two blues, a yellow that can be modified, or two yellows, a dark and a light, and two browns. The black is there and the white. And then it created all these colors, just those basic colors. Here are my purples. I made my purples. Well, I use three blues to make my colors because I have three blues, but if you have two, that's fine. Um, these are my primary reds, and I added it with the cryon, the ultramarine, and the phthalo, and you can see the shades of blue I got. And then as I came down here, I started adding the medium reds and the cryons Again, notice that it's not as a clean red, it's a darker red, it's a deeper color because of the nature of the cad red, where this already is the um, is already leaning towards a purple, this is leaning towards an orange, so it changes that. And then when we came to here, I just started playing with color. It was very enjoyable to sit, watch some old movies, and mix color. When I was trying I was over here trying to mix what would happen if I added a red what happens if you take a red and green which are opposites what color do you get so I came back to this page found my green went to my red and I started getting these intense dark colors okay so you want to do you want to put down your primaries which are the colors that will come in their um in their bottles and then you want to do your secondaries your secondaries are greens oranges and purples and then from your secondaries you want to hit your tertiaries and your tertiaries are when you put your primaries and all three colors together so there's going to be red yellow red blue and yellow it's going to start creating grays. It's going to start creating browns. But mostly I got grays. It's supposed to create browns, but I did not get them. So you will play in this world of tertiaries here, here, and then these shades of gray. You will not get a gray like adding white to black. Instead, you will play in the garment industry where you'll get these beautiful green grays and purple grays and red grays and pink grays and that's fine because when you're painting along and you're painting something white and you want to darken it but you just don't want it to be gray then you know that you can create warm grays or cool grays depending on <clears throat> depending on the kind of light that you have and how it's working these became more of an absolute almost middle tone gray and that was my crimson my sun bright and my cryon added down with white and I did a couple layers and got a purple when I added more red or a different red okay so what I want you to do is really play with color start to get to know color these are my burnt umbers and see how burnt umber with blue you get these nice dark so when you don't when you want to darken something but you don't want to use just black because that is uh, can be a dead color 
these can be stand-in for blacks. Notice how I get, we got these beautiful greens, adding a phthalo, which is already a greenish blue, um, with the ultramar the um, the burnt sienna, and that's not burnt sienna, yeah, burnt umber, and that gave us these beautiful greens, and then it gave us these dark purples. And then the raw sienna, which is a lighter tone, gives you these kind of rich colors. You also got some nice, quite beautiful, when you added the sienna with the blues, you get these interesting greens and keep going. So what I want you to know, and every artist will mix color differently. It's so fascinating. It's like cooking. You know, everyone has the same ingredients, but people can make it taste, taste different. You may have all the same colors but you will end up with a feel or a, a, a mixture of color that's different. And that's what I'm looking for. And I'm also looking for you to create a color book. Make sure you keep the information on what colors it is and how you mix them because I want you to go back. So if you're painting along, say you're painting an apple on a, on a, on a, on a white table and that apple's sitting there and it's got some green in it and it's, getting dark and it's got shadows and you so you're using these reds with some greens from here to hit you know the highlights of the green in the apple but you need to darken the apple now to make it three-dimensional I want you to be able to go back to your color chart and go okay how did I darken my red and will this work or will it work by adding it with some green so how do I, so this, I want this to be a functional, usable color chart that you use for the rest of the semester because we're going to be dealing with color for the first half of the semester. We'll be painting color um, using acrylics or uh, acrylics, basically. All right? All right, if you have any questions, make sure you email me, and I hope that your color charts go well. And then start sending me images of color charts. And if you want to meet so we can flip through the book, not a problem. We'll do our help sessions for every assignment, right? Thank you.